Miss Saigon. And a very good evening to the distinguished guests, who tonight are going to be treated to a very memorable and entertaining step back in time to the Vietnam War. Tonight, however, is no ordinary history lesson. The students are prominent people from right across the country. The classroom is the beautiful and recently restored Capitol Theatre, and the subject is the Australian premiere of Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon is a modern-day musical based on the Puccini opera Madame Butterfly, with the musical being written by Elaine Bublil and Claude Michel Schonberg, whose inspiration for the story came from a photograph of a Vietnamese woman. The show's lyricist, Elaine Bublil, explains. And one day that picture showing that woman ending her baby, her pilot, knowing that she was never going to see that baby again, we thought, oh, that's really what we want to, to but that is what we want to tell in an opera, you know, in, in, in a whole time musical. This is the eighth production of Miss Saigon around the world, with the original London version now in its sixth sold-out year. So you've wanted to get it to Australia for four years now. Yeah. You'd be very happy if it sold out for six years like it has in London. I would be, yes. What, is it, what has taken it so long to get it to this country? For the simple reason there wasn't a theatre in either Sydney or Melbourne where we could have put a show on, of this scale on. You know, all my other shows have had a wonderful home in the Theatre Royal, but this show requires theatre of a far larger dimension. You want the reason I will show you now them. Miss Saigon tells a tragic tale of love and self-sacrifice, following the story of a society torn apart by the aftermath of war and two people from different worlds who are at the hands of fate. Starring Joanna Ampill and Peter Cousins as the lovers Kim and Chris. Kim is a young Vietnamese woman who meets an American GI, Chris, at the time of the fall of Saigon in 1975. What we see on stage during the two hour and twenty minute production are images that most of us from that generation can recall from the news reports of the day. Made even more impactful by the emotional energy of this heart-wrenching story, soaring romantic ballads, and as you can see, spectacular staging. I cried. I'm sorry if I've got mascara, but having a, just having a little bubby, the little, you know, it was ju just beautiful. I thought the orchestra was absolutely superb. Led, led very well by Mr. Simpson, and the trombones were the best trombones I've ever heard in my life. I think the theatre is absolutely superb, and congratulations, Sydney. It's really great. So whilst the cast and crew enjoy the fruits of their labour, it would appear to be an extremely dynamic time for musical productions here in Australia, with Beauty and the Beast currently showing in Melbourne, The Secret Garden in Brisbane, and of course, Miss Saigon here in Sydney. Australian audiences are being treated to very professional and highly entertaining shows. So, with $20 million in pre-sales, yep, $20 million, I can quite easily predict that Miss Saigon is going to be a sellout success. This is Tony Johnston at the Capitol Theatre for Good Morning Australia!